I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. You saved that man. That took courage. Courage? I killed innocent people. Destroyed Mornay's life and the lives of others like him. One moment of courage will not make up for that. Why are you here? I needed you to know you aren't alone in this. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage. And I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. This is helpful, or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? Black War... Rainier has accepted his fate. But you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. Have Renier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. What can I do for you, my dear? 
Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the Snowy Wyvern? I've brought you the heart as requested. Inquisitor, you are a treasure. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend, and I would like you to come with me. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. My darling? Bastian? Vivian, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. Bastian is dead. I can hardly believe. It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and... Then, our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and... I... I must write to his son, Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie. What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Leliana, stop! What are you doing? I'm protecting us. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hands. 
talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us, join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Release her, Liliana. She is no threat. The Grand Cleric? She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. The Inquisitor has spoken. Run. Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. It? There's nothing here. It's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but... My conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. If it were not for you, I would have killed Natalie and called it a good thing. Thank you for showing me what was right when I couldn't see it for myself. There are things that must be said, but not here. I will see you back at Skyhold. <laughs>